I was looking how I can create subtitles in Linux. I tried a few specific subtitles apps, I tried creating subs directly from YouTube editor. And anyway, everything was proved a failure. Today, I will show you how you can create subtitles from Resolve. And you will see why this is one of the very best apps for the purpose. But before, take a look on what we are going to subtitle. And also, you get exclusive news from the Baby Dora News Network. Obviously, we will export SRT to upload directly to YouTube. So text subtitles are only for your convenience. Anyway, take a listen. Oh, ごめんごめん。ちょっと遅刻しちゃったよ。今日何今日今から。うん、わかってるわかってる。台本読んできたよ。CM でしょあの、予備校の CM ね。これすごいね。初耳学と情熱大陸の間に何分入れるの ?2 分30秒。2分30秒入れるのすっごいね。よく俺使うよね。わかってるわかってる。大体のことはわかってる。だから、これで CM で、やっぱ予備構成が増えればいいってやつだよね。わかってるわかってる。あの、要するにああいうことでしょわかってるよ、もう。ちょっとさ、このスタジオ、なんかちょっと寒くないこんなんだったらさ、俺寒くて死んじゃうよ。殺す気かなんて。<笑>大切なのは失敗体験ですね。たくさん失敗したら自分の負けパターンがわかってくる。So. I have imported the video and the audio on Resolve, and I'm ready to add my subtitles. What's super cool, is that we have the audio wave, and we work directly on the video, so we can super fast sync the subs. First, I will add a subtitle clip, and let's remove the panels we don't need, to make some extra space. As you can see, It is pretty easy and pretty fast to set the duration of my subtitle clip, and get a perfect synchronization with the audio. This is exactly how all subtitle apps should have been working, but they don't. So, let's start to actually writing our subtitles. Well, I can't see a shit with that Mark's white shirt, so I will add a background. It doesn't really matter for the final export. Just want to make things a little bit more visible for you, and for me. Okay, I will add two more subtitles clips, but let me speed it up. No reason to watch me just typing like snail. If you're actually still watching anyway. All done, and on this panel we can see our subtitles, and the duration in CPS, in case we work with multiple audio channels. So, our subtitles are perfectly synced, and we are ready for the export. First, I'm going to remove the video, and replace it with a solid. I believe Resolve needs a video clip for export to work, so a black clip will make rendering fast. Not sure why I left the sound, but whatever. By the way, remember to make the solid compound clip, otherwise Resolve will refuse to export. Just doing a last check that everything is okay, because in reality I don't use Resolve that much, and in fact, I'm exporting this video on Olive. And the reason is Resolve's limited codex support, that only happens in Linux. I'm really 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 failing to understand, why there is not H.265 and MP3 support. Never ever seen them before in a video editor. Anyway. Now on subtitle settings, we need to export our subtitle as a separated file. Then select the SRT format, and finally select the subtitle channel. and export. And I honestly have no idea if that will work. I only have done that once before. Like a week ago. And done. And if all good, we should now have an SRT file. But what I just opened, it is definitely not SRT. There we go. By the way, 
That is a subtitle app from Flathub, but it is pretty pretty bad. Has a weird name too. Let me open with GNOME Text Editor, for a final check on format. All seems legit, so let's upload on YouTube. Got the video already up, so now go to Advanced Page. Then select Upload Subtitles. And select the file we exported before on Resolve. And save. And test. And our subtitles are here in Rocky. And goodbye.